What is going on guys, you're back on another video and we are looking at the awards and ooh, look at my boy, he's back. We're looking at the awards and the uh, stats of the regular season. Jordan Howard is finally back. I mean, it's not like we really missed them to be honest. Don't let him hear that, but didn't really miss them to be honest because we had uh, a very good showing of Cunningham and Cohen. But let's take a look at this. So of course, 12 and four. The Lions, I believe also did make the playoffs. The Packers, I think, just barely missed. Let's take a look. So Lions also did make, and the Packers literally missed by, I don't even know, a game, I suppose. So, yeah, us winning was probably pretty big for them. We, I would assume, clinched. Yeah, we did. We did get a bye week, so barely over the Cowboys. I'd assume. Well, I don't know. Did the Rams get a spot? I mean, they're the second best team, but are they really? If they have the same win percentage as the Cowboys, I'd say 12-4 and four is better than 11-3-2. and two. I don't I really don't know. Maybe, to be fair, maybe the divisional wins. No, they don't have that. Honestly, we probably should have missed. I don't know. Whatever. I'm glad we got a, a bye week. Of course, Deshaun Watson is MVP. Mitchell Trubisky, a lot of yards. Not really a whole lot of touchdowns. 23 picks. A passer rating of 90.9, which, I mean, if the Bears can get this out of him in real life, I'd say that's a pretty big win. Rushing, of course, Howard, barely 1,000. Didn't get double-digit touchdowns, so he might lose his dev, which worries me. Rushing Tariq Cohen really didn't do that well. Trubisky with 10 fumbles. I mean, that's just not in this year. Quarterbacks fumble way too much. Uh, Trey Burton barely missed 1,000. It's an amazing season for him, even though he had no touchdowns. Really, we spread around the touchdowns a lot, but then again, we really didn't have much to spread around. We didn't have that many touchdowns. Anthony Miller, only 700 yards, which is very disappointing. Taylor Gabriel, just about 700 as well. I wish we could have, you know, just forced some of the passes more to one player rather than spreading it around because that doesn't help anyone mac finished with 17 sacks even though with the stupid ea glitch probably would have had about 21 22 maybe more floyd with 7.5 hicks with 6.5 danny trevathan with 4.5 probably defensive player of the year 10 picks 4.5 ta uh, sacks 109 tackles trevor williams with eight touchdowns watch him not get a dev up yep normal dev lovely uh, Adrian Amos had an okay season with five picks. Had a lot of return yardage, so two touchdowns returned. Very good. We actually do a pretty good job of returning the ball. Roquan Smith hopefully got Defensive Player of the Year. He usually does just by default, and he had a pretty good season. Cody Parkey only missed two field goals technically, so a very good season from him. Could be Kicker of the Year. We'll see. Uh, kick return, punt return, no touchdowns. Offensive yardage, number eight. Defensive yardage, what do we got? Number one, no surprise there. What about the scoring? Third in NFL scoring. How many points allowed? Number four, not bad at all. So yearly awards was Trubisky on the list. He was at number eight for MVP. That's not bad, but obviously he's not a rookie, so he's not going to win any awards with that. Coach of the year, we were number three. That's kind of sucky. Offensive player of the year. Trubisky at 10. At least he's on the list. Danny lost it to Mark Barron. I'm going to have to see this one in a little bit. I'm going to I'm not even going to waste any time. I don't want to forget. So, Mark Barron somehow had a better season than 109 tackles, 4.5 sacks and 10 picks, plus a touchdown and two safeties. Two safeties in one season. He also deflected 15 passes and only allowed two catches. Let's see, Mark Barron. There is no way. No, not a chance. So he had half the deflections. He allowed 41 catches. 41 catches. He had one touchdown, no safeties. He had So he had one and a half more sacks. He had, what, 19 more tackles, five less picks, he allowed 39 more catches, and he had half the deflections. How does that win defensive MVP? I don't know what Danny Trevathan's dev is, but I'm going to cheat him a dev up because that is the biggest... Uh, I don't even know. So there's only that quick dev. He's going to get a star. I'm sorry, but it needs to happen. Fair enough. With Trevor, even though he was good, he almost always never gets a dev up. So, I mean, that's just part of the game. Knew what we were getting into when we uh, when we went for him. He never goes up in dev. Jordan Howard, number five. 
receiving core, Allen Robinson at number four. Devontae, Cobb, and Dez all on the list. That's insane. Any linemen for us? No. Best D-line. Mac should be best linebacker. Or Danny. Danny works. Especially. So, Danny's the best linebacker over Mark Barron. I, d I don't know, man. I just don't know. Trevor was the best DB. Honestly, he probably does deserve a dev up. But once again, we already know what we're getting into. Cody Parkey gets his best kicker award. That's crazy. How does Mark Barron win? And I'll never know. So, offensive upgrades. We have, like, nothing. Anthony Miller was a youngster. And he didn't get anything. Yikes. Jordan Howard. What is he looking like? His devs quick. He lost dev because he didn't get double-digit uh, touchdowns. We had one upgrade. It was Trubisky, and it wasn't even from me. <laughs> wasn't even from the uh, other stuff. Let's go field general. It was literally just from probably playing throughout the season. Deep accuracy mid. I'll take it. So hopefully we have a lot on defense because we had none on offense. Roquan, I forgot. Did Roquan win defensive rookie of the year? I don't even remember looking at that actually. I think I actually skipped over it because we went to look at Mark Barron. So offensive rookie of the year was Barkley. Anthony was number three, which is kind of shocking because he didn't really have that great of a season. And then, of course, Roquan was the best defensive rookie. Pretty much a guaranteed, thankfully. Wait, when did Leno have an upgrade? Did he always have one and I just completely skipped over him? Actually, we have a week to advance, so I might as well advance that first before we upgrade anymore. Advance a week, see who we have to play. The Cowboys, that's a good team to play. Not for us. So honestly, I don't know the move with Mitch. I mean, Mitch was good, but I mean, his dev is the same. His overall is basically the same. I mean, he upgraded what three times throughout the season, with the sliders being on like a hundred, like two hundred almost. I don't know if we can, you know, keep up with that. I don't know if we can continue to allow that to be our starter. We'll see, I suppose. Roquan, uh, let's field general this thing up. Almost another upgrade as well. Roquan is so sick in Madden. Wish you would get it. I mean, I guess if you're only going to play Mutt anyways, but Roquan's the guy I chose for my Mutt card for the rookie premiere. I went with someone, you know, of need. I mean, you could have been the basic person and uh, went with, like, Saquon, but running back's, like, the easiest thing ever to get in Madden. Adrian Amos, big upgrade. Uh, a lot of man coverage. I mean, 86 man coverage. Corner. Cornerback. We'll see if we get a a good safety in the draft just out of nowhere in the later rounds, maybe. So Trevor with five upgrades gets an Excel, one man coverage. What's his man in zone? Okay, yeah, we need to start upgrading zone coverage. The game won't allow it, but we'll just have to risk it, I suppose. Maybe just start upgrading slot because then it'll do both. I think that's what we'll risk a slot. And if it upgrades, just, I mean, whatever. Who cares about the scheme fit? We need to we need to get his zone coverage up. We run a lot of zone coverage. And even if we didn't, his man's already very, very good. So that's the main importance. So going against the Cowboys, I don't know if we're going to play this in this video. But 85 to the 85, I don't remember what our, up, our overall was beforehand. But it seems like we're a pretty good team. What do I want to do for coaching? Because we have wide receiver, we have D-line, we have DB. However, are we going to go for a new quarterback? And even if we aren't, Trubisky could use this as well. So, I don't know. D-line. I mean, we don't really have them many young D-linemen. DBs would be nice, though. DB would be very nice. It's definitely between DB, wide receiver, and QB. But I think when you get this kind of bulk, you got to go for one of the good ones. Do I want wide receiver or QB? We have... Two wide receivers that could use it. Technically one, because Allen's not going to get much XP. I think we have to go for QB. That's our biggest need at this point. So even if we don't you know, go for a QB, at least Trubisky is going to get a, a boost. Look at that. He's only 24, and it takes 13,000 XP to level him up. I don't know, man. I mean, he's fast, but is he good enough? We'll see. I mean, I suppose the draft will... Give us our options or give our answers, I suppose. Did our special teamer go up? Cody Parkey got an upgrade. Did his dev go up? Normal dev. It did not go up. <laughs> Safe to say. Kick power. Did not get a kick power. Three awareness. But, yeah, I mean, that's going to be the video. Unless, like I said, I decided to do uh, the playoffs as well. 
in this video. Probably decided to wait, but you never know. You never know. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm a little disappointed with this. I mean, I think this is going to come up a little bit sooner than the Browns Awards. But yeah, the Browns Awards were much better than this. And even that one I wasn't happy with. So it is what it is. This team is technically better anyway. So we'll see what we can do. Both teams got a bye week. So going against these Cowboys, I suppose. Let's actually, before I go, let's take a look at... Uh, what the score was for actually the Cowboys no the Cowboys wouldn't have had a bye week so they won by 14 over the Lions so they took out our rival so we kind of owe them a little bit Tavon Austin well there's that so hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys come back for next video but until next video see ya